Just a heads up, in addition to the holiday items that I've mentioned previously, we also have a few leftover cozy penguin plushies from our previous sale. So if you happen to miss out on it the first time, now's the chance to get it with no pre-order wait time either. However, once these are sold out, this product will be gone for good. So make sure to grab yours while you solve the chance. Previously on Lost Judgment. What the f was that? <gasps> oh god, are those aliens? Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of me. Let's kill a guy named Ham. Ow! And now back to Lost. <coughs> Mr. Katie, what are you doing here? <coughs> what the plot? Of course, I still remember the main story's plot. There's a guy, and he died. And there's another guy, and he's really angry about it. And then there's Sherlock and his buddy, Narhoto. And they're trying to do everything to solve the mystery and to stop the British government's corrupt system while learning valuable life lessons. And also, Iris is there. She's making tea. And Susan is tossing people on the ground. And I don't know what game I'm talking about anymore. Sneak a B. Back with some more Lost Judgment. We last left off, aliens are real. <laughs> aliens are real, I knew it. I always freaking knew it. Ever since Earthbound, I always knew the aliens were fucking real. But I thought they were supposed to look like bumblebees. And I gotta say, that was a, that was a pretty cute one. That actually might've been one of my favorite uh, side quests of the, this game so far. That was just, I don't know, there was some very sort of, sort of sweet about that one and really funny too. Just like the whole setup, the Yagami chasing the UFO. Uh, down the streets, and only to have a giant U of Ox just show up behind him. It was it was pretty great. And we also dab a little bit in drone racing, uh, which is good. It seems pretty much the same. I heard you guys say some some improvements, like apparently the the tracks are less annoying, and it, it actually is less laps than it was before. It used to be three, but now it's but now it's just two laps. So uh, a lot less frustrating in that regard. Um, and also that apparently the tracks are supposed to be a little bit better too, since they not as many maybe tight tight turns. Um, I don't know. I mean, it was fine. I never found the other one to be that bad. Though the nice thing, apparently, they've also had the, the addition to actually just restart the race anytime you want to, which is fucking awesome. However, I gotta say, um, it just kind of sucked that there's seemingly kind of no reason to do this, aside from me just completion points, because I don't seem to be getting any kind of prizes or anything. I mean, I'll get stuff for my drone, but that doesn't really matter for anything except for drone racing. And also, it costs me more money that I currently don't have. I have two, I have two dollars. <laughs> I have two dollars. But yeah, I mean, and you have spending resources for it, but what do you get in the end? Not really anything except for a, a, a check mark. I, th I think I remember last game, they actually get, you actually got a, one of your free pass vouchers from, uh, from doing this. I think you actually had to beat the Grand Prix. Like it took a fucking while, uh, which I guess kind of sucked if you're trying to get just the free pass voucher for just that sake. But uh, for what I can tell, it's not really anything to really get from this aside from just buffing out my drone so i mean maybe i'll do it some off off screen or something but i can't imagine there's gonna be ever a moment where i'm like gonna really be showing that off on video because there's not i mean any real story surrounding it nor any real additional uh uh gameplay benefits that give me anything outside of the drone racing so a fun little thing but it doesn't really seem to have anything else so you guys could tell me if there's there is something else or like there actually are prizes that i'm missing like i don't mind them they're fun they are fun and granted there's a ton of stuff in this game that is essentially just for the fun of it and not for actual like you know getting anything from it like all the car arcade games and stuff around uh club sega you don't really it's not like you get any like prizes or something that you can take and use in uh, the regular game. But I think I'm just kind of surprised with this one. I, I think I just sort of expected that in some way. Like they'd be like, you earn points and then use those points and spend them on a side place to get other things, you know, like with the gambling. But uh, from what I can tell, that does not seem to be the case. Uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, the Brawl Bros said, uh, Amasawa. Believing in aliens is so illogical. Sherlock Holmes would be able to prove aliens don't exist easily. 100 years ago, Holmes. And that is why, my dear fellows, this flying apparatus is most certainly a UFO sent here by aliens. Narahodo. That's a paper kite me by a five-year-old. Can you please give it back to him, Mr. Holmes? No, it's mine. Now I need to figure out how it flies. <laughs> uh, I love how in character all these lines are. I can absolutely see that happening, too. I still find it so funny how we're actually getting, like, Holmes brought up in this game as well. Like, weirdly enough, like, a bunch of things that actually tie these two Let's Plays together, which... Always seems to be the case somehow, but I just find it really funny how on the nose it is this time. I mean, granted, I know Holmes is a pretty, you know, well-recognized uh, fictional character, but it's definitely a character that does not show up in a lot of my other Let's Plays. Or hell, even now I think about it, it didn't really even show up in the last Judgment game. It's really just this game because of the, the Mystery Research Club. So it still is a pretty interesting coincidence. 
But the Brawl Bro, thank you so much for your hilarious and what I believe to be a truly canon comment. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. But okay, so I, I asked you guys if there was like any more clubs that I could unlock at this point. And apparently I can. So what I really need to do is just simply progress more with my other clubs. Um, and potentially, I guess, grow my, uh, my stats out a bit more. And I'll continue to unlock some of the uh, smaller ones. Uh, however, we have been doing a lot of this side stuff now for, honestly, I checked. We've been doing it for about 10 episodes. Um, and I've really been enjoying it. However, I don't want to uh, uh, completely overwhelm us with just side stuff. And it's been a while since we've done main story. I mean, granted, except for that one spot where I literally got uh, forced into main story before I was fucking ready. And I'm also just kind of tired of playing it in just nighttime, all right? I feel like it's been nighttime for like three years now. I'd like to kind of switch it back to day. We'll probably get some new quests. And I think we've seemingly at this point finished off most of the stuff that uh, was required to be finished uh, at nighttime like the clubs and stuff. I know I've still got some side cases. Like I've got these two cases from uh, one in Camarocho and one uh, here. And actually, now that I look at it, it looks like only two are actually going to take place in Camarocho and the rest are going to take place in Yokohama. Um, but I think we'll just save those for later. Oh, that's this is interesting. Look at the requirements for this one. Cleared why I donned the costume, which is a, one of the Camarocho uh, side stories I think we saw uh, on the social media thing. Uh, school stories, biker game progress and retrieve from item box. Wait, what? Retrieve from item box? What does that mean? Retrieve what? Do I have to retrieve the request from my item box? I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if one of the girlfriend of friend events is in here or something too. I am kind of curious how it's going to pop up here. Since one of them is Tsukino and who's part of the whole Twisted Trio thing. I kind of figured that might be like some tie-in and how I end up, you know, meeting back up with her again. But she's only DLC as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue with a bit more of the main story. I'm sure we can go probably a bit further without, you know, reaching a point of, oh, fuck, you know, things are escalating quickly. We're only on chapter three. And I kind of want to see a bit more of uh, where things are headed. And also, maybe Yagami's face will heal up between now and the next chapter. Because Yagami's looking a little, little scuffed, let's be honest. Oh, my God, I don't have enough money to fucking take the... Oh, my God, I'm so broke. Wow. I will say, this game does seem to uh, require a lot of your money. Maybe even more so than the uh, previous game. I mean, granted, I still have fucking Paradise VR, so, you know, money still really isn't a problem. But I really would like to try to not, uh, like, oh, God. Ugh! Have to resort to that if I don't have to. Oh, wait, let's try my, uh, agony thing. Ugh! They turn purple. What does this even do anyway? Are they just like slower or something? Hold on, is there actually like a list of the status effects in this game? Yeah, 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 we've looked at this before. Uh, Agony, leaves you unable to evade. Okay, I think I heard you guys say that apparently uh, there are some heat actions that actually require um, uh, enemies to be in uh, Agony state. So this is uh, probably good for that, so nice. Um, all right, how to use crit. Yes, I get it, I know game, for God's sakes. This game just assumes I forget everything. If I'm not, you haven't used Crane in a while. Did you remember how to use it? Yes, I do. Thank you. I don't know why sometimes when I'm on my skateboard, if I open my map, I just get off my skateboard. I have not figured out what is what I'm doing that causes that. Has this happened so randomly? Yeah. See, like I don't know what is it I'm doing. Am I not holding? Man, man, need to hold. Oh, oh, oh! You have to hold forward. If I don't hold forward, I get off it. I see. Which is kind of weird. So that means that basically before I close this menu, I have to be holding forward. Or I'm going to... Well... Oh, God damn it, Or maybe not. I don't know. These guys are still chasing me. Oh, wait. There's a side quest. There's a woman who needs help. Better leave. Sakumo, I'm home. What up, bro? Did I actually accept these cases, by the way? Oh, I see. I can only accept the cases within each area. Uh, Can I just accept it and it doesn't start? Right? Yeah, I just gotta go. I gotta go someplace. But, uh, I need to heal up. Now nah, we're good. Hey, Sakumo, what's up? <gasps> Talk to Sakumo. Here's some shit. Here's a dollar. Thanks. なんと無言い。この写真を沢先生も見たのですか。そう。すっかり動揺しちゃって話を聞ける状態じゃなかった。その写真をよこしてきたって女はまず間違いなく。三越
そして御子柴の剣から手を引けと言ってきた<笑>波の探偵ならビビって言う通りにしてたかもなでも連中はなぜ八神氏が邪魔なのでしょう御子柴殺しを嗅ぎ回られたくないということでそれなら警察の捜査の方がよっぽど嫌なはずだけど確かに警察が動いているのに八神氏の調査だけ止めても意味がないですなだから多分連中が本当に脅したかったのは俺じゃない沢先生だ4年前に江原敏郎が自殺した時彼女みこしばのいじめを責めてたらしいだから俺は何が本当なのか先生に話を聞くつもりだったんだでも連中はその辺に触れさせないようにしたかったかもしれないだとすると敵の脅しは効果的でしたねおかげで沢先生は貝のように口を閉じてしまいました大丈夫まだこっからだよそれに連中だって一つミスったろ They let me alive. ギャングに追っ払わせるつもりだった探偵が帰ってこうやる気出しちゃってんだからなるほどそれは随分大きなミスを犯しました<笑> They didn't know how fucking stubborn I am その夜偉人町で見つかった死体の身元がテレビやインターネットで報じられたこれで星稜高校の誰もが三越芝博の死を知ったはずだ、うん、あの学校の中で世界は一変したと言っていい Upside doodly I figured that was probably close to the end of that chapter Just in case we forgot though, previously, I mean, to be fair, it has actually kind of been a while since some, some, of, the, some of the stuff in the earlier part of the chapter. He got that shit kicked out of him. Because the Also, there's that guy. Chapter 4 Red Knife. Oh, that's a knife. That doesn't sound good. Red signify blood, and blood bad. <laughs> Oh shit! Everybody knows now! <laughs> Shimiose! <laughs> Hey, my face is all healed up. Alright, I'm gonna take a night. Abort! I haven't done anything in a while. I'm going to take a night. I'm going to take a night. I'm going to take a night. <laughs> oh, look, look at my beautiful, beautiful decorations up there. Especially love the box. よ年前はそのことを三越は本人に詰め寄ってたらしい。多分いじめは実際にあったんじゃないかな。少なくとも沢先生はそう考えてたんだと思う。そこへ来て、サングラスの女から三越は剣に関わるなと脅されたわけだ
だって三越芝がもしいじめの加害者だったんならなんでそのことを隠したいの逆にもっと広めてって感じじゃない三越芝殺しを正当化できるんだからさ一理ありますないやうんそれもそうだがよそもそも沢先生はなんで自分の意見を真逆に変えちまったんだ普通に考えれば上から圧力があったというところでしょうなあまりいじめの事実を騒ぎ立ててくれるなと例えば星稜高校の奥田理事長からどうだろうあの理事長にそんな力あるかな結構沢先生にもズケズケ物言われてたしやっぱりその辺は沢先生本人から聞き出すしかないでも八神さんもう近づかないでって言われたんでしょそんな聞き分けよくちゃ探偵なんてできないよ何か僕に手伝えることあるあああるぜお前は俺の解放しなきゃだろそうなのどの道今あの学校に出入りできんのは俺だけだから<笑>杉浦はカイトさん頼むよ Got like a billion other things to do there too ゆうべ便利屋のやつと飲み明かしちまったからよちょいと休ましてもらうぜ<笑> God damn it, Kaido. ずるいよなヤガミさん楽しい仕事は一人占めなんだもん How about this guy's a rent to wear a mask like you used to wear? Remember that? Yeah? Anybody? I'm just curious. Did I, suddenly, did I suddenly get some new jobs here?、Uh, seemingly no. It's not here. Actually, wait. s o r r y I can check. Nope. All right. Away we go. Return to Serio. Ah,、oh, sweet sunlight. Ah,、oh, I've missed you. All right. Do we suddenly have like a billion things here? No, and actually, in fact, I think actually one of my. Side quests that was out here has actually disappeared. There's like one around here. That, that, oh no, that scared that lady. That scared lady I ran by before. Ah, shit. Was she a nighttime only one? Well, balls. <laughs> I guess she died. Quest failed. Oh, there's the the, the other case. The forbidden taste. And then another one. <laughs> I guess that was a nighttime only one. Whoops. Now, fortunately, I'm still broke, which means I'm gonna have to skateboard over there. Watch this. Ah,、oh, damn it. Uh, I can't do like the super jump that I, I did while actually at the skate park. Oh, wait. No, no yeah, I can. You can't. Whoop. What? Come on, dude. Get on the damn car. Yagami died that day. I'm fine. Yo, what up, guard guy? What's up, Yagami? I feel like I've seen you over here every, every couple of minutes now. Yep, pretty much. Hello, random student who's just staring at a wall. Oh, by the way, you guys actually told me apparently it's actually better to do the、uh, drone races at night because during the day,、uh, it's actually got more, pe more people are out and about, which makes sense. Especially at the, the Serio High、uh, racetrack one. Which is kind of a cute detail. Yo, did I just walk in and it suddenly got later? It's like school's out already. Gotta go check on Sawasa. What? What do you mean it's out already? It was stri- What? Damn, it took me a while to get here on my skateboard. I guess I should have taken a taxi. What the hell? I was like expecting to start a brand new long day here. Now suddenly it's fucking afternoon. Dude, this is way too much like real life. Time sure flies when you're just trying to get places. Oh, body mall walks at night. Let's go do. Let me go finish that. We still haven't actually seen the conclusion to that. This apparently only happens during the day. Does grades improve or whatever? Oh, Yagami san. Mm -hmm. And you are? It's me, Nido. Thanks for going easy on me the other night. Oh, Nido, hey. I just realized I didn't know what you look like under that getup. Yeah, I guess it's the first time you've seen me in a regular uniform. So I assume you're in the clear with your teacher. Did your test go well? Nope, I failed. Oh. Yeah, I was the closest call, but somehow I brought my grade up to a passing one.、Cool. Ah, glad to hear it. Guess something did you, did you some good. Actually, it was six old my research for the body model that I aced my bio exam. Ha! <laughs> really? And that was what ended up balancing out all my other terrible grades in the end. Looks like that turned out to be a good idea after all, huh? I don't think that's the lesson here. Except my teacher's still really mad at me. 
So now I have to clean the science room every day after school until I graduate. <laughs> You're lucky that's all you got. So help me out, Yagami san. Just let me know if you ever want to try out the Gusty san outfit. Just come by the science room. I even have plenty of thick organs left for you to toss. Yeah. No thanks. Really? That's a shame. I could use that as a disguise, though. Well, I should get going. See you later, Yagami san. Man, that guy never stays down for long, does he? I wonder how he does it. If I ever need to dress the body model for a case, though, guess I know where to go now. I'm more comfortable in my own skin. Oh, here we go. Like, just like that 100K. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, do I, did it actually give me... I don't have it. Maybe, maybe, would I actually be able to go up there? And Nah, it's probably just fucking with me, right? Joking at the idea of it, but not really letting you do it. I don't even know where the science room is. Oh, there's another side case in here, too, on the third floor. All right, well, that uh, scored me some uh, more SP, so... Let's go ahead and get triple kick. Deliver an even more powerful strike after the second hit of a finishing blow. Try after a landing a double finisher. Nice. Go even further beyond. All right, you know what? I'm in the area. There's one new case that showed up here. It's probably a daytime only one. Let me just go pop over and say, what up, fellow kid? What the hell? You know who I was expecting to walk into? I just saw a student over there. Hello there. I'm my old man teacher. Oh, hi. Wait, are those those douchey kids? Uh oh. <gasps> bah! Ah! ah, shit, he's fucking dead. Ha, right in the middle. Sorry, Mr. Sensei. We thought you were a soccer girl for a Not second. Tucker. Another bunch of jerk kids. Hey, are you alright? Eh? What? What the? What the hell? <laughs> What's the matter? Did you get it so hard you have memory loss? Oh my god, this demon aura. Should we hit you again? Maybe it'll bring your memories back. Ah. Oh my god, he's turning to fucking Wolverine. What is this bloodthirsty aura? This thing's very wrong here. Does he even hear us? The beast is sensei. Right. Hey, hey, stop. Energy. Ike, you have a coon. I know coon. Keep your ass coon, right? Sports are allowed in the halls, okay? Huh? Ha! Uh, my bad! Uh, but... Man, <laughs> it's amazing how much energy these kids have. Uh oh. I can feel it. His fucking bloodthirsty, murderous aura. I felt so much anger emanating from him earlier, but maybe it was just my imagination? Ah! I'm a solid. Yagami you have to show up every time. Yes, always. I'm stalking you, Yagami san. I've noticed. Yagami san. Hey, what up, Yamasawa? You saw what just happened, right? Uh. Yeah, that guy took a took a soccer ball to the head like a champ. Yeah, you mean after that teacher got hit by the ball? He's giving off some pretty weird vibes. Yamasawa. Yeah, there's something I'd like to talk to you about concerning him. You want to talk? Sure, I'll swing by the room later. Thank you so much. Wait, so it has nothing to do with you? I thought you were the thing! Oh, she's actually talking on her phone. And she stopped when I got close. Wait, wait. This noise amp doesn't work at all. I can't hear anything she's saying. Talk directly into the mic. Talk into the mic, lady. Talk into the mic. Talk into it. Talk into the goddamn mic. Ah! 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 <laughs> the fucking look of fear in her eyes. No! 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 I'm going in here. Damn it. I wish so. <laughs> she just fucking ran off. <laughs> I wonder why. What happened? What, what, what's wrong? Just ask me a question. Jeez. Damn it. I wish so badly I could fucking just run into these desks. And just try that. <laughs> that would be the funniest fucking thing, dude. God damn it. What up, Amasawa? What you doing, girl? Yagami san. I'm so glad you're here. Uh. He said he wanted to talk about the teacher who got hit by a ball in the hallway. Yes, I did. It's going to be a bit of a long story. Gotcha. She's got my son wants my help, but what should I do? It makes sense like I'm going to need to stick around for a while. Oh, really? That's interesting. It's like a, it's, su it's such a big one that I have to confirm if it's something like I have time for. Sure. All right. As the MRC's advisor, I got to help her out. Sure. What do you need help with? Thanks so much. Just have a seat, please, would you? So, what did you need help with? Yagami-san, do you 
Do you know Ibisu Sensei from school? Mm -hmm. Ibisu Sensei? The name does sound familiar. Oh, yeah, that's uh, the teacher who greeted me in the hallway. Friendly guy. Eh. Until he turned to a Super Saiyan. Yep, that sounds like him. His real name is Katsuma Ara. He teaches Japanese. He's the type of teacher who's super nice. Never gets mad and always has a smile on his face. Because of all that, people started calling him Ibisu Sensei after Ibisu, the god, the god of good fortune. However, hmm. however, the personality is only the only the way he is now. What do you mean? I've always felt something sinister about Ibisu Sensei, so I looked into his past, and it made some interesting discoveries. First of all, he retired from his previous high school for causing a violent incident. Eh? But didn't he say he was friendly? Hi. <laughs> and he got rehired here? What the hell? Apparently the staff here decided not to look him up. Yes, but apparently at his previous school, he was known as someone who loses his temper easily. And once that happens, he's out of control. He sent dozens of students to the hospital at that, at that school. Mm. How is he not in jail? <laughs> but again, I guess I could ask myself the same question, right? Damn, that's a pretty big deal. I also heard that he has the strength of a bear. Supposedly, before he was a teacher, he was a professional masked wrestler. He played the villain. A pro wrestler? He was playing the part of the heel, huh? Very few people know about that. They don't recognize him from his wrestling days because he wore a mask back then. I think their wrestling experience bled over to his teaching career at his old school. They nicknamed him Katsuma the Ogre, for goodness sake. Are you sure about this? A mom and a teacher like him? Well, it seems he expresses regrets over the incident. And now, here's Serio High. He's a very kind instructor who never stops grinning. It's like he's a different person. Mm. Well then, maybe it's all good. Nothing didn't complain about if he's put it all in the past. Yeah. No, it's not that simple. What does she mean? She asked her for more details. Trying the patience of a saint. Oh God. What be the problem? So I'm a solid, it sounds like you think Ibisu Sensei became a good teacher because he regretted his past actions, right? If so, what's the problem? Unless you think something's going to happen. Well, the thing is, there's some sort of delinquent students who are teasing Ibisu Sensei. They have no idea about his past. So I feel like they're unknowingly playing with fire. Yeah. And come to think of it, some students hit him with hit him with a ball. Oh, the pranks have gone pretty bad lately. From what I can see, Ibisu Sensei might be on the verge of losing his temper again. Those delinquent students could be in danger. I don't know what would happen if he if he really lost it. What kind of fucking insane levels can he go even further beyond? And if he caused another incident, there's no way he'll be allowed to keep teaching. Uh. Okay, if that's the case, why don't you just warn the pranksters about Ibisu Sensei? Sure, they'll stop joking around once they know he's a terrifying god villain wrestler. Yeah. But that's the thing. They don't believe me. I've already warned them many times. They don't think it's possible for a shrimpy Ibisu to have been a wrestler. Dude, he's a pretty stocky stocky guy, all right? Like, even if he isn't some fucking wrestling master, you still probably wouldn't want to mess with him. Yeah, and it's pretty hard to imagine given how he looks now. And we'd rather conceal his past, so we can't expect expect him to confirm mm. it. He caused quite a bit of trouble during his active days. Damn, I wonder what he did. A masked villain wrestler? That nice teacher? Hey. Mm-hmm. His stage name was Masked Bish Bishaman. Bishaman. Bishamon? Apparently, he was unbeatable in the ring. He had the strength of a demon god, I heard. A fucking demon god. That's a, that's more like it. His enemy's blood would get all over a beast of sensei and make it look like he was wearing a red robe. Fucking gym oh, is raining now. That's a bit much. Couldn't believe it either at first, but it's the truth. I also heard he would break the rules all the time by using metal objects and weapons. he fight it outside the ring every day, too. Top it all off, he wouldn't listen to the referee's stop order when he got mad. It was like he lost his freaking demon mind. Mm. And then he would be totally out of control. They told him it would take several people to stop him. I would have never guessed he was so dangerous. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, we can't let this lame demon god or whatever it is inside him wake up. Let's do what we can before there's a tragedy. All right, I'll I'll beat it out of him. I'll beat the, the lame demon god out of him. Well, a truly awful detective can solve incidents before they even occur. Remember that one? Eh. Of course. You bet. Okay, now that I understand the situation, what do you want me to do, Amasawa? It'd be great if you could put a stop to the delinquent students' pranks, even if it's just for today. In the meantime, I'll try to find something that will prove to them what Ibisu Sensei did in his past. Even a bunch of delinquents will believe it if, it's, if there's proof. Mm. You sure about this? He'd be ruining his chances of keeping his past hidden. 
I'd rather not do that, but this is too important to stand by and do nothing. Sometimes the detective has to expose some really sad truths. Look at them. Fair enough. So, you just need me to guard a beast of sensei and stop the pranks. I mean, to be fair, the kids would probably think it was awesome. Thank you so much for your help. That might maybe be a problem for his job, his livelihood. All right, first I'll go where a beast of sensei is. Maybe he's in the faculty room. Wait, is that where I need to go to go see Amasawa? It actually might be. Uh, oh my God, I it is. Well, I don't know how far I'm gonna be able to get here. All right, what am I triggering? Hmm? Definitely main story. Yo, Koda san. Yo, do you know? Shokunshitsu ni yoji. Soro soro, Yagami san ga kuru koro ka to omotte. That's right, I killed him. Yagami-san well, you guys were kind of too busy trying to beat the shit out of me. You guys are kind of assholes. マジの話誰に殺されたんすか そうだったんですか。ニュースで言ってたよ。死体は死後2ヶ月くらい経って。ってことは学校へ来なくなった頃に殺された可能性が高いだろ。何待つ。なんか見つけんのやつらみたいじゃん。ヤガミさん。沢
Once that girl has, made, has her mind made up, nobody can swear. Must be a tough way to live. But I understand your situation, so I won't send you away. Thanks. So I'll stick around Sangar for you until school's over. Are you about to start class? I am. Would you mind waiting in the hall hallway while I teach? Hey. Sure, I get it. It'd be a bit much to have you stand guard inside the classroom. You'll scare the students, haha. -ha. Yeah. Freaky old Yagame. Boogity 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 boogity. I'm teaching class 2 3. They're all good, serious, eager students. You know what I'm saying? Haha. -ha. Oh. I suppose. Hmm? Oh, fuck me. Hey, how's it going? Yagame, it's me. That douchey kid from earlier. Is that the student who hit Bisu Sensei with the ball earlier? Or is that the other kid from the main story I talked to in the hallway? Damn it, they all look the same with their fucking red hair. He had the biggest smirk. Damn smirk. Got a bad feeling about uh -oh. this. Uh, hold on a second, Ibisu Sensei. A prank on the teachers might be a dumb trap, maybe? Why don't I check to see if there are any traps set up around here? This motherfucker. Look at this little asshole. I see you, dickhead. Can I actually go in the room? Wait. <gasps> I see it. Motherfucker. You think you're gonna fucking get that shit by me? I'm focusing on it. It's not working. Do I have to go in the room? <gasps> I see it. What the hell? Do I gotta take a picture or something? What do you want? Wait, that's a chalkboard eraser trap. Classic. All right. I'll let it be to say no. No. What with the bucket? I see the bucket. So say, I think I see someone set up a chalk eraser trap. Track carefully. Hey, how nostalgic. I used to make those two back in the day. I can't let my guard down with these little rascals, can I? Ha ha. That's just me. Means you've got to be one step ahead of the pranksters. Burp, 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 burp. Oh, fuck. Huh? Nani, a banana peel, really? Uh, uh, oh, hey, something on the ground. Uh, <laughs> nailed him. Crap, that chalkboard eraser thing was just a distraction. Sensei, are you all right? This is fucked up, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. Crap. Oh, fuck his energy. Oh, no. Is he going to snap? Sensei, calm down. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Mm -hmm. Huh? There's a bucket, though. I see the bucket. <laughs> you guys totally got me. That's the oldest trick in the book. You know, what What? What era were you born in? Ah, uh -huh. you're actually so abusive, Sensei. Yeah, Sensei, you should be a comedian. What? You're telling me that if this sister can't commit it, he would teach class. All right, let's settle down. We have a lesson to start. Whew, that was a close call, but he turned it around. Man, I really didn't expect there to be double traps. What the bucket? Am I drunk? I thought there was a bucket right by the door. This class sucks. Look at, look at him out there grinning and laughing like an idiot. Pathetic. These kids sure aren't taking class seriously. This is not going well. Um, all right, today is test day. What, you all ready for this? <laughs> Sorry, if you forgot, you'll have yourself to blame. Okay, time to begin. You have 20 minutes. Hmm? <gasps> Wait. Blah, 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 blah. Here we go. Go, go, go. Wait a minute. I know. Oh, uh, hold on, Sensei. Don't sit down just yet. Huh? What, what's the matter? Something's fishy. Let me do some quick recon. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Might be some more traps. Time for a closer look. This guy set up a trap so only as a distraction. Gotta be careful so they don't manage to make a fool out of me. I'm gonna kill these kids, I swear to God. Let's find the trap before that happens. Nando. Oh, I can't turn my head to see the damn bucket that's over there. I have only one thing to pick here. Wonder what it could be. Cushion, huh? Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it, but... It's gonna be a whoopee cushion or something, right? It's a chance, chance the trap is so clever, I'm not seeing it. Maybe if I look closer. Ah, isn't this... I fucking knew it. Look at that. Fucking fart sound. One of those whoopee cushions? This thing that those things that make farting sounds when you sit on them. Okay, so they're trying to make him cut a... 
cut a fake fart in front of all the students. Savage. Savage. Well, I'm not going to let that happen. I'll be taking this. Is everything okay, Yagami-san? Sure. Not yet. No. Yeah. No, I want to look around a little more. Oh, okay. Fine with me. Oh, yes, what? It's a piece of carpet. Why is it bulging? Don't tell me there's something under under it. What? what? They put a whoopee cushion here? Ah, so that if he sits on his chair, the legs will push down on the cushion to make the <laughs> double whoopee cushion. Pretty elaborate. Doing okay, yagami son. Well, I discovered two different traps. Sure, we're all good. We're all good now, Tight. right? Yeah, we're good now. Damn it! No, come on. All right. Well then, there's a third whoopee cushion. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah. Freaking MRC. Damn it. That we totally had him. Motherfucker. Is there just like a bucket on a shelf or something? Is it not hanging over the door like I thought? Look at that. Looks like everything stayed cool at school. I know. Welcome back, Sensei. Thank you so much for standing guard, Yagami san. Let's head over to the faculty room. Keep an eye out for any balls. Yagami-san, do you think I looked pathetic back there for continuing to smile no matter what the students did to me? Yeah. No, thought I was admirable. The only thing is, kids that age just don't like messing with adults because they're pieces of shit, you know? I think it's okay to be tougher on them. I understand that notion. I used to be a pretty strict teacher once, but these days I'm reluctant to rule my students by fear or to make them obey me by throwing an angry fit. They're human beings, not animals. So why should I rely on such primitive notions to educate them? I understand how you feel, but... Besides, anger really is a dangerous emotion for me. Even a tiny spark can spread, spread quickly and turn to a hellfire that consumes everything. I agree. This guy's pissed. He's seriously dangerous. Back when I was a wrestler, I got a lot of praise for playing the villain characters like absolute demons. But it was precisely that anger, or maybe it was karma, that caused all my past mistakes. I can't let such a tragedy ever happen again. And that's why I made a vow to never let the anger control me for the rest of my life. That's a respectable goal. But from what I saw today, he really was on the verge of snapping. If he'd had to endure any more, things would have gotten gotten truly bad. Speaking of which. Could the kids be playing something else? If they don't do anything, that might really unleash the demon. I don't... Something wrong, Sensei? Well, <laughs> this is embarrassing, but I have to use the restroom a lot lately. I don't know. Maybe it's my age. Maybe it's just nerves. I always have to use the restroom after class. <clears throat> Please excuse me. W wait, hold on a sec. Kids have ever noticed that he was always using the bathroom after class. They might have set up a trap there. He catch up, up to a BC Sensei. Oh, fuck. Don't do don't do. Oh my god, where do those kids go? Bro! Bro! Let me check the toilet, dude. Thank goodness. What? How'd he get there before us? Did he leave before us? Oh my god. Oh my god, they're coming. Yeah. Mm. I know. Hey, uh, just say wait, please. Huh? Why? Mm. Those linguist students might set up some tra more traps. Can I take a look first? Oh, that's fine, but please hurry. All right, I'll do a super quick check for traps. Gotta be quick. Quick like a bunny. I see it. I see this uh -huh. fucker again. Another chalkboard eraser trap, huh? Might end up uh, paying the dark price of this gets him while he's holding it in. Uh, no, f no falling for that. I'll do it. All right, check for, should I check for more traps? If it looks fine, let the, no the guy know it's coast is clear. No. Wait. Nanda. What? Why is the edge of the door plate peeling? Wait, this this paper. Something's pasted on the door plate. Do they switch them? Yep. Oh, this is the girls' restroom, not the boys. They printed out the boys' door plate and pasted on the top of the girls. Now that's an elaborate prank. Uh, please hurry, Yagami san. They must have done this knowing that a beast since they always used the restroom after class. It's in such a hurry, it didn't even notice the restroom was on the opposite side of the hall. This kid's read his mind like a book. It looks like the girl's bathroom door plate is pasted on top of the boy's uh, door plate. Let's remove that one, too. That'll do it. 
All right. Should I check for more traps? Everything looks fine. Should let the sensei know that the coast is clear. So this is probably about to give out too. So I don't know. I don't see anything. So I'm hoping to God that's it. I'm going to save this man. Save this man his sanity. Yeah, me saw. Does everything look all right in there? Please you can pick up at the pace in any way. Not too trapped. Surely can't be more, right? Hey. You're good to go. Okay, then. Whew. F sweet feeling of relief. That was a close call. <laughs> Excellent. Managed to get through the crash without any issue. That damn freaking MRC. Spell not coming with that split. Shit. Fuck. All right. What? Here. Why don't you go ahead and throw this away? Bastard. Oh. Oh. C crap. Uh, it's Devil Fujita. You guys need to come with me to student guidance room. Wait, but... No excuses. Damn it. This is an over MRC geeks. Sorry to keep you waiting, Sensei. Let's just head back to the faculty room. Whew. All right. Sensei, are you done teaching for the day? Oh, yes. No club activities today, so I'm about to head home. Whew. Man, let's get through the day. Now I just have to wait for the proof Amasawa says she dig up. Hopefully, whatever she finds will convince the delinquents, uh, beast since they shouldn't be messed with. Well, then, before I head home, it's time for a little fun. Mm -hmm. Fun? <laughs> Every day before I leave, I water the flowers. I'm so proud of how beautiful they become. Uh, oh, you into flowers? Oh, God damn it, really, dude? They soothe my mind. When I get to look at such pretty flowers, all the stress from the day just disappears. That sounds great, actually. Mind if I join you? <laughs> okay, let's stop and sniff the roses, shall we? Oh, God, the roses are going to be dead or something. I've been tending these little blooms so carefully ever since I first arrived at the school. Oh, God. I even gave each one a name. We've got Taro, Hanako, uh, Shigeru, and Go. Go, it's a tulip. I named him that because tulips are so common in the Netherlands. Heh, <laughs> fun, isn't it? That's the biggest smile I've seen from BC Sensei today. Maybe he really has to overcome his rage issues. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, how do you like your pretty little flowers now? This thing is bad as him. His voices. Oh no, is it delinquent suits from earlier? What do they want now? Got a bad feeling about oh. this. Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Sensei? Huh? W why? Just stay here until I give you the okay. Just stay right there. It's gonna stay. What? Yarmisan, wait! What is that? What the? They're pissing on the flowers and there's a fucking rainbow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotta make sure these flowers are well watered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at my crazy mouth. Yeah, I picked them up. I love it. Oh. You, you guys, what the hell do you think you're doing? Huh? Huh? You little punks. Do you have any idea how much care BC says he puts into these fl those flowers? Hey, aren't you the MRC advisor? You know it's all hell, man. What's getting our way? Get some water and rinse those off for BC says they see. You giving me orders? Huh? We're doing him a favor. It's good fertilizer. You tell us to risk it away? You screwed up, dude. Why don't you go assume the worst? Why you assume the worst about us? Maybe you're the one who needs to be rinsed off like any no. pissed. Why don't you guys enlighten me? Why do you prank and beast his sensei so much? He's a good teacher who all, all, who's all smiles. You guys have some sort of grudge against him? The smiles will piss me off. It's so friendly when he's furious inside. What a phony. The big guys, it's a great big phony. He looks down at us, thinking that smile is all it takes to get us to obey him. Yeah, like we're little kids or some shit. Makes me want to rip his fake smile right off his face. Not I see. So basically, you guys want to be so sensitive to just be straight with you. Huh? Huh? It's the same reason a kid bullies a girl he likes. You guys bug him to see how he truly feels. Kiss me, young man. <laughs> what? Whatever. You want to see how it feels get your ass kicked? Awesome. I've been thinking you guys need a good talking to. And I'm not as nice as a beast of sensei. Ha! You don't know who you're messing with. Mr. MRC, you're dead. Oh, thank God. Does this guy have a fucking knife? Sure does. 
I'm gonna show you what agony is. Come on. Woo! Yeah! Got another fucking triangle move. Oh, yeah! Get your ass down, boy. Ah, oh my gosh, guys, I got a taser? Motherfucker, I can do this. You come here. It's over! Now show him. That's for you, Abisu Sensei. Shit, who is this guy? Our weapons, we're in use. Uh. All right, now clean up the flower beds you pissed on. I said now. Ugh. He says as he sees this, I might set him off. I have to get it looking nice quickly. It. Oh. What's that smell? But why? Ha, <laughs> fertilizer for you, Beastie Sensei. Maybe the up by tomorrow will be nice and big. Guys, shut up. Boosh, I'm gonna... The power. His power grows. The rage demon is coming out. Well, clean up right away, Beast of Sensei. You guys peed on my precious flowers. Crap. Taro. Hanako. Shigeru. Oh! Huh? You bastards! How dare you ruin my flowers, you fucking little brats! Ah! Wait, um. You've crossed the line! I will never forgive you for this! I'll smash your little heads together! Fucking eat you alive! Since they stop, please! Get a hold of yourself! Out of my way! Uh, this energy! Uh, oh, great. Uh, Die, you little shits! What the hell? It's to our course bounce! Uh, now we get the number of that bus? Alright. Uh, we're in serious trouble now. Now, he's in a complete rage. Man, that's strength. Man, just hit one of them. It'll be a hospital trip. Sensei, remember. Remember who you are. If you have another incident on your record, you'll never get hired to teach again. Out of my way, asshole. Uh, he's not going to listen in his current state. I must subdue you. A beast of sensei. Oh, fuck me. Oh, oh, god. oh, my. Oh, my God. Holy shit, the damage. Oh, God, I'm scared. Uh, uh. Okay, we're gonna have to take it down a couple of notches. How about that? All right, take it fucking down. So take it fucking down. That's it. Going for the nuts. I see them opening. Dick punch. All right, we calm. We good. Holy shit. Oh my God, he killed me. Holy shit, he did so much damage, I'm dead. I'm actually deceased. Wow. That's a hell of a counter state, bro. Oh my God. Ah, just so much fucking power. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh my God. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can be dead. No. All right, him with this one now. Kill him before he can do anything. I'm sorry, Mr. Sissy. I'm doing this to help you. Oh, holy crap. I was mega pissed. It's insanely powerful. I'd give it everything I had. Seriously. Damn. I had no idea how strong Bisu was. 
The guy, he actually killed that guy twice. Um, so we missed the flowers of a dude like that? Yeah, dumbasses. Beast Sensei, are you all right? What? Yagami-san, what happened to me? You sort of lost yourself in anger. The first thing I stopped before you heard any students. You stopped me, Yagami-san. It was a close call, if I'm being honest. Hi, I'm here now. Yagami-san. Of course you are. Yagami-san, sorry for the delay. I finally found proof. Oh, thanks. Good timing. Uh. A little late. What happened here? Amasawa. Amasawa, sorry to say you're a little late. So that's what happened. I'm sorry, I did my best, but I couldn't stop all their pranks. Yeah. It's okay. At least you prevented any violence towards the students. <laughs> what about the violence towards me? As it turns out, none of this was in vain. Look. Huh? Get on your knees. We're so sorry, dude! We ruined your beautiful flowers. Oh, God. I'm sorry since they step on me for my fucking betrayal. Hey, stand up straight and lift your heads. It's not that important. Your safety is my number one priority. I'm just glad you guys aren't hurt from from me wanting to kill you. Really? I'm sorry for scaring you guys. You're the much more important to me than a couple of flowers. The beast is sensei. Heh, looks like he's won their hearts over. Thanks to you, I don't have to reveal Beast of Sensei's secret past. That's great to hear. So, yeah. By the way, Yakumi-san, after all this, what comes to mind when you think of Ibisu the god? The god? That's random. Uh, mm. he's one of the seven gods of fortune, right? So I guess I think of him as a prosperous god who's always smiling. Hey. Sure. Did you know he was the god of business and fishing? But then after the Middle Ages, people formed an image of him as the god of good fortune. Jitsuwa. If you go further back in time, they believed Ibisu was a vicious, fearsome god. Bisu, the ancient deity, was regarded the same as Bishamon and Fudo Miyu under Shinto Buddhist uh, syncretism. Uh, oh, wow. I didn't know that. Thanks for the history lesson. And at some point, Bisu, the fearsome god, became popular as the smiling god of good fortune. <laughs> Sounds like a Bisu sensei's history, don't you think? Uh. <laughs> it does. Well, hopefully he keeps it up and becomes a popular teacher among his students, just like a god. Hi. I'm sure he will. And not a demon god. Beast Sensei, you are seriously something else. I don't know how you are so strong. Anyone can ever pulls a trap will break on you and get will take care of it for you. Like us. I'm on the case. What was that for? Ten cases. All right. Uh, that was good. That was cute. I'll say that the side cases and stuff in this game are, are pretty great, too. You know, aside from even the school story stuff, which is also pretty great. Okay, for real, for realsies this time, Sawa Sensei. あの、そうですね。学校に来るなとは言いません。私にそんな権限はないですから。でも、もう構わないでください。昨日はあれからなんか。お願いします。二度も同じことを言わせないでください。It's not gonna give me the time of day if I keep pushing like this. Cause I have to make do with just checking in on her. Well, shit. Oh, hey. Uh, oh, damn it. 10,000 now. I guess we'll go with two health boosts. Booyah. And booyah. I wonder if this picture of Mikashi was taken where they found the body. This location must be somewhere in a Jinsho. If I'm going to stay on this case, I need to explore every angle. It shouldn't be too tough to find, right? Mosumoshi, Skumo? Ore da kedo. Ijincho de Mikoshiba no Shitaiga Mitskata Gemba de Wakaru. Eh, Mochiron Semini. Yamamishima, Imakara Mukao no deska? Sonotsumori. Naruhoto. Tada, Shitaiga Mitskate Nanichimotatemasu. Kamone. Demo 
無駄足かどうかは後で考えるよ<笑>まさに探偵の鏡ですな勉強になりますえー、っと見つけました死体の発見現場は桜川沿いですね小さな公園脇にハイビルがあります、うん、死体はそのビルの2階で見つかりました1階部分は潰れた用品店なんかが並んでいますな了解ありがとなあれは、uh, those people were that were talking about it before. That should be kind of cool. It was literally right where those, uh, uh, that group of people was, uh, were mentioning it. Yup, it sure is. It is. It was right, this spot right here is where they were talking about it. That's cool. That's actually a nice, that's a nice little, uh, attention to detail. Next building near Sakura River. This must be where Mikashiba's body was found. Lock looks easy to break, but it's still daytime. There are people around. See, there's another way in. Time for some hardcore parkour. Nanda. The window is closed. Maybe there's an open one somewhere. Uh, partially open. Oh, wait, there we go. Window's open, but there's no way to get up there. I'm just sneaking in from the front is impossible. Check the side or the back of the building. Let's see, I guess go over here. Wait. Window is. Wait. Am I looking in a window right now? Is that a window? I don't know what I'm remarking at. Oh, hey. Broken fencing, huh? I think I can get through with a little effort. I have to head through the rear of the building. Well, if the front won't work, I'll just have to improvise. Ugh. Dive directly into it. Made my way through it. Now, hopefully, there's a way in on this side. Damn, there's a lot of rubble back here. Aha, an open window. I can use it to sneak in. I need something to give me a boost, so I'm gonna climb up there. See if I can find something. Whoa, what was that sound? Was that me? I guess it was. Uh, there's traffic cone. Here's good, and climb up from this spot. Oh, that was easy. Okay, before we fuck around with that, is there anything down here? I'm gonna keep an eye out for like, notebooks and shit, or uh, skill books. All right, here we go. Uh, sorry, cir circle to get up, not A or X for some reason. Like you would instinctively think so. You can get th through these areas by taking a running start and pressing circle at the right time. Uh, about wall running. Cross large gaps by running along a wall like I'm fucking Prince of Persia. Uh, press X to jump towards a the gap, then circle when prompted to run along the wall. Uh, iron ball bar vaulting. You can also swing across iron bars to clear lar large gaps. The process is very similar to wall running. X to run towards the gap. Circle when prompted to swing across the bar safely to safety. Oh, oh, I see. Oh shit, guys! Look, I found the greatest place to, to farm for SP. <laughs> <laughs> Two at a time. Guys, it's gonna be so easy to level up now. Ha! Fucking break the game. Just like I always do, ha! Okay, no, 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 no. Turn around. Woo! Wait, let's do it again. Uh oh. Whoa! I didn't see the pipe. I was looking at the wall. Woo! Perfect. Man, I feel like when I do the perfect, the perfect jump, I should do like a little spin or something. Do like a 360. Uh, okay, so we got that. Let's go anywhere. Oh, hello. Toughness C. Tonka tough. All right, it's gonna... Oop. Uh, jumping while climbing. While climbing a wall, 
Uh, move and press circle to jump to another section. If you take up a, a proper position shown, you'll be able to make the jump. Here we are. Ooh, some mysterious fruit. Looks delicious. <laughs> Climb up the painted spots. There we go. Woo -wee! I'm up here now. Getting it. Konnichiwa. Dare mo inai ssu yo ne. Ojama shimasu yo. Shitai ga atta basho wa nani ka ato ga nokotte leba in da kedo. Time to investigate. All right. Well. Burn marks on the floor. It looks like there's red powder dusted on the surface. Yeah, you know, like they they lit a flare or something and it like caused it, or caused an arrow to be uh, pointed towards the body. Or actually, no, it was already burned into the ground when they they arrived, right? This black stain's gotta be blood. So is this where Mikashiba's body was? Damn, they still haven't cleaned this shit up. Uh, new info added to your shit. I mean. I think we all, we definitely expected the blood. Not sure what significance the arrow is going to have. The arrow must indicate the body's location. Guess the killer would like to have everything lined up. This building matches up with the photo, so Mika Shiba was alive when he was brought here. Which means this isn't just where his body was dumped. Where the murder actually happened. Hmm? Uh oh. Someone's coming. Crap. Cops just had to come back to the scene now? Oi. Ah, shit. No. What are you doing? Yeah, eh, uh, I'm like 10 different things. It's a little hard to explain. But currently, I'm a detective. I'm a detective. 昨日清涼高校にいたな。そっちも俺らを見たはずだ。いや。そうでしたっけ。よろしくな。神奈川県警一課の渡辺だ。神奈川PD、uh、Detective、uh、Kisuke <笑>何考えてんだよ。勝手に現場入り込みやがって。いや、ここは皆さんもう調べ終わってるんだろうなと思って、つい。うん。何か。お前さ、現田法律事務所の依頼で動いてねえか?ん?白崎先生に頼ま
それはこっちで判断するそんなことよりお前よさっきの俺の話どう思う何がですなんで俺らが江原と話すのにストップかけられんだって話だ江原は2ヶ月腐ってた仏を前から知ってたって重要参考人じゃねえかそこに触れてくれるなってのはいくら警視庁様でもわがままが過ぎる Keep it simple. I'll just note that Kanagawa PD is the local force, and HQ would be the Tokyo police. Which means crimes that happen in Jinshio fall under Kanagawa PD's jurisdiction. And that's Detective Wananabe here. Case Chow to Stewa, Miuchi no Ehara, or Kawai Tai, the Kotoskane. Dakara Kenke no Minasan, you are our Seranakata. Zan and Dutana Yatra, Ehara, or Kawai Tai, you are Kizare. o s k i a Bukan of Shimaz Kawaya, Kaita Oeke to Shima. Tada. 今回その部下は痴漢のみならず殺しにまで何か絡んでたそんなのをまるっとよその県警にあげられちゃ警視庁のメンツは丸つぶれ幹部の一人や二人切腹もんだせめててめんとこでケツ吹かなきゃ格好がつかねえなるほどそういうもんですかだから警視庁はうちに江原は東京の刑事に調べさせるついてはみこしば殺しの情報を全部よこせとこう言ってきてんだよそんなもんこっちだって飲めるわけがねおかげで殺しの件じゃまだ誰も伊原を尋問できてないうちも警視庁もだ要するに手柄の取り合いってこと警視庁と神奈川県警であんたらまだそんなことやってんのああ情報を出し渋って足の引っ張り合いだよ上同士折り合いがつくまで俺らは伊原に触れないヤイクスチャグ腰に向かって突っ走んのがデカの仕事だろうによこんなお預け食ってりゃ探偵に八つ当たりもするわな八つ当たりだったんですねこれから書にご同行を願ってくっつり絞ってやるがお前が伝える探偵なら協力しやるかもな,<笑>かもなえわざわざカムロ町から来てそこら嗅ぎ回ってたんだろみこしば殺しで何かネタ掴んでねえのかそれによっちゃ手錠を外してやってもいい取引ってことですかお前がいい情報を持ってればな It's gonna be such a waste of time but I want some info from these cops myself Probably best to collaborate with, with these guys and give them a little more insight Uh Yeah, it would probably have to be the photo itself I don't think they uh have this これなんてどうですかねお前、これあっ三越真宙場所はここだ殺される直前かどこで手に入れたおいどういうことなんだ手錠かけられたままじゃ話しづらいな<笑>思ったよりは使えそうだな分かった外しちゃってくれ Let me loose I beat the shit out of him run away うーんつまりこういうことかお前と清涼の先生の待ち合わせにこの写真持って不審な女が割り込んできた俺はその女ってのを見れなかったんですけどね沢先生には十分脅しが効いたみたいですもう何も話してくれません沢というのは三越場の教育実習を担当してた女の先生ですね分かってるよその写真を渡してきたって女は三越場殺しの一味だろうな連中は複数犯なんだよへえ複数犯ずいぶん言い切るんですね何かその根拠でも桜井三越場の死体写真を見せてやれ何かあったら俺の責任だどうせ今のままじゃ拉致が開かねえこの先江原の情報はこちらの探偵さんに取ってきてもらう鍋さんがそう言うなら Oh, it's had to be two months after his death. That body looks pretty decayed. Say, then, no Mikosiba got Saigo in Mokengi Saritano and Nikagetsmai. Jugas Nano Kano Asa Rokujihan. She knows Jitako de Rutuki, Ahoya to Kotobao Kawasir. De Sonoko no Mokengi Jo Hoganai Kotokara. Mikosiba Jitakara so tokenai baso de Rach Sarita Kano Sega Takai. Sonobai Joshi Kitikini Kangate, Kurumagat Skawata Darona. So Naruto. 少なくとも運転手と拉致をする者とで2人はいる
俺が犯人なら3人は揃えとくなるほどそれで複数犯ってことですかああところで解剖の結果みこしばの遺体には胃の内容物が少し残っていたその消化具合からすると殺されたのは朝食から少なくとも1時間経った後、うん、つまり午前7時半以降だみこしばは拉致された後おそらくすぐにこの現場へ連れ込まれて殺されたナイフで喉をかっきられてな理解できたか名探偵 The day Mikishiba went missing, he was taken somewhere close to his house. He was killed right here, no earlier than 7 30 a.m. Ja, Konotok, Chikan no Ehara, Nanio Stetaka. Saiban Kiroko Nurto, Gozen, Stiji, Yonju Sampuni, Tonai, Ikebukro Eki no Kaisaskara, Nujo Stater. Eki no Bohan Kamera, Ehara no Sugata goes to Teta. Dato Stara, Ehara ni Mikoshiba, Korosna, Murida. Ikebukro Kara, Kokoma de Sanjukiro, Hanareter. ああアリバイ成立ってわけだなだがやつは2ヶ月後にみこしばの死体が見つかると知っていた痴漢で捕まってからずっと拘留されてたのにだつまり殺しの実行犯たちと通じてたのは間違いないエハラを絞り上げればそいつらの情報を聞き出せるなのになんで俺らはこんな何も残ってねえ現場にいなきゃなんねんだクソ警察がまあまあ、落ち着きましょうよ、ナベさん。ああ。だから、お前が代わりにエハラから情報を引き出すんだ、ヤガミ。白崎先生に頼み込め。弁護人の接見なら、警視庁も口出せないからな。Hell of a cop, I only just met him. I'm halfway to becoming his gopher. <laughs> Then again, I guess I do the same thing. そういうことならもう少し。ここや死体の状況を聞きたいんですけどなんだま、聞くだけ聞いてみな Now here's a chance to get some pertinent facts I need to ask what evidence the, the police collected from the scene Holy shit! Alright! Give me the deets, man! ミコシバの死亡推定時刻はどこまで絞られてるんです朝食の消化具合から殺されたのはミコシバが失踪した10月7日午前7時半から12時までの間だ2ヶ月前の死体からそこまで絞れるもんなんですねああだがもし犯人たちがミコシバに食事を取らせてたって可能性を考慮すると死亡推定時刻の幅はぐっと広がるその場合犯人たちはミコシバ家の朝食メニューを完全に再現したことになるけどな、うんできないことじゃないでしょう朝何を食べたかみこしばから聞き出せばいいああ俺らも同意見だすると死体の腐敗ぶりも考慮した結果みこしばの死亡推定時刻は10月7日の午前7時半から10月末までの間になるその幅約3週間3週間今度は広すぎですねもう少し狭まんないんですかそうしようにも死体が腐りすぎてたただしその幅がどんだけ広かろうが痴漢で捕まってたエハラにミコシバは殺せない拘束されてたんだもんな、はあ、2ヶ月間ずっと痴漢したおかげで強力なアリバイがあるってことかどのみちミコシバを殺した実行犯たちは別にいるエハラを締め上げりゃ、やつらの尻尾をつかめるはずなんだがよ。What else? I need to ask what the police have already collected from this crime scene. And also the cause of death! 被害者の死因はニュースでは確か、失血死とか。ああ、喉を切られてた。そいつが致命傷だ。犯人は、椅子に拘束したミコシバの背後に立ち、左手で顎を上げさせ、右手に持ったナイフで喉を横に切り裂いたためらいがない感じですねその殺し方聞くとまあそうだな、um, regarding the burn marks. ここの床矢印の形に焦げ跡がありますよねあれは何です発煙筒が焚かれてたんだ
赤い煙を吹き出すやつでなで通報を受けて駆けつけた消防隊が三越場の死体を発見することになったつまり犯人たちはわざわざ死体が発見されるようにのろしをあげたんだよ江原とは事前にそのタイミングを示し合わせてたんだろうなそれで江原は三越場の死体発見を予言のように言い当てられる実際に痴漢の判決を受けた時奴はそれをやったわけだなんでわざわざそんな真似をさあな予言者ごっこでもしたかったってかいや、yeah. um, stay the body 死体が見つかった時の状態はどんなだったんです腐敗が進んで宇治が湧いてたよ椅子の背もたれを抱えるように後ろ手を結束バンドで縛られてた直接の死因は喉を切られた傷だがその前にかなりの暴行も受けているそれも結構えぐいやつをえ両手の指が全部折られていた Ow. 指を全部ってああ肩着の死にざまとは思えなかったよまるでマフィアかヤクザの拷問だ上は念のためそっちの線でも人を抑えて操作しちゃいる Uh, the building owner. この建物はずっと無人誰か管理してる人は偉人町に古くからいる地主だこの建物は2年前に無人になってからずっと放置されてた一応ホームレス対策で入り口に南京錠をかけてたらしいが三越場の死体が出た時にはなくなってた犯人たちが壊したんだろうなうん、hmm. okay Uh, the murder weapon. 殺しの凶器は見つかってるんですかいや、見つかってない。現場にそれらしいものは残ってなかった。見つかれば重要な証拠になる。It's a shame. That would have made things really easy. ナイフって言ってたのは、傷口から見て多分そうだったろうってことですよね。俺が手ずっぽうで言ってるわけじゃねえ。解剖した先生がちゃんと断言してる。凶器はナイフに近い形状の刃物だった。Okay. Uh, had already clutched from this crime scene. What do you mean? I already asked him everything! Daitai Jijo wa wakarimashita. Kikitai koto wa kiketa to omoimasu. Hmm. Tokoro de, Kamuro Jo no tante te no hima na no ka? Hai? Zuiibun ugoki ga haya katta jane ka. Ore na ga seiryo koko ni itta toki ni wa もうあそこに出てるやつは。俺の番号はさっきの名刺にあるんだよ。おい、ヤガミアウおし、ヒューリオマテオおちす、マテオおちす、マテオおちす、マテオおちす、マテオおちす、マテオおちす、マテオおちす、マテオおちす、マテオおちす、マテオおちす、マテオおちす、I guess again. And do 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 Bear chase things like soccer balls, bear cases, or buckets maybe on the rook or the road. When you get near one, quickly press that button to, that, that appears to kick at your target. Don't target the loose health. They're too far, they're they, or they turn a corner and lose visuals, so they kick out. Man, I hit them. But they will this time. Ugh. Oh, right in the fucking head. Right in the brain. Give me another one of these. Whoa! All these inconveniently placed people. To the left. <laughs> They might even go to the right after seeing him go left. 
I know a shortcut. Just fucking run in the opposite direction. Ball. Who keeps leaving their soccer balls out here? What the fuck? Oh, bucket. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Yarmy, please spare me. No. No mercy. It's in here. Give me your three dollars. Ah, damn it! It's night time again. Spent so long chasing you. それ そりゃこの刑事さんがマドから飛び降りて走ってくるから。ケイジさんだよ。じゃ、あだ名はジーパンでね。声です。身分証はお持ちですか身分証は持ちですか。身分証は持ちですか。身分証は持ちですか。身分
Oh, that was interesting. Wow. I actually saw, saw it happen. I know. That, that was pretty cool, actually. It's not just like a... I, it just ha happens while you're not looking. No, it actually happened right in front of me. That was wild. And then I actually saw the character turn around. I actually had a lot more to it than I expected. Oh, my God. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Wait. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hey, guys, I learned a new move. Punch. Kick. Uh. Stay classy, guys.